Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we return to the world of Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach to take an in-depth look at the story of Vanessa and her glitch-trap-controlled alter, Vanny. This story charts several games, and while I touched on elements of Vanny's tragic tale during my Security Breach Story Explained video, I wanted to give my overall thoughts and theories as to her exact timeline and how events unfolded in full. So sit back, relax, and let's investigate the twisted story of how Vanny came to be. Our story begins a few years ago with the launch of VR-based game FNAF Help Wanted. This game within a game seemed fairly innocent on the surface, a virtual reality themed collection of mini-games from the original FNAF series created by Scott Corfin. However, a library of secret cassette tapes have been hidden inside the game for players to unlock. These were voiced by a mysterious woman, who worked as a beta tester on Help Wanted and reveals some troubling revelations as to why the game existed in the first place. They lied to us. They lied to all of us. They told us that the whole point of this VR game was to undo the bad PR done by a rogue indie game developer who supposedly made up a bunch of crazy stories that tarnished the brand. But that's not true at all. Those indie games were designed to conceal and make light of what happened. This isn't just an attempt to rebrand. It's an elaborate cover-up. A campaign to discredit everything. Fazbear Entertainment sent the developers of Help Wanted scrap parts from various animatronics used in their pizzerias over the years including circuit boards to scan into the game code to help with the AI pathfinding. Unfortunately, this had some dangerous repercussions. A creepy glitching character resembling a rabbit started to appear to beta testers after these parts were scanned in. One tester named Jeremy became a very different person following interactions with this glitch, developing an unhealthy addiction to the game and complaining of nightmares. Jeremy complained of nightmares when he came in this morning. He doesn't even jump anymore. Nothing scares him. He just stands there like he's talking to someone. Sometimes he rocks from side to side. We were told to leave him alone. This glitch was the digital ghost of series villain William Afton, the cruel inventor of the various animatronics used by Fazbear Entertainment, who ended up murdering many children who visited restaurant locations over the years. Afton, haunted by the souls of his victims, became trapped inside a spring bonnie suit and fused with it, now a vile animatronic terror himself in the form of Springtrap. He later transferred to a different animatronic endo known as Scraptrap, and while in this form was defeated by his son Michael and business partner Henry Emily burning in a fire that sent him straight to an animatronic hell, where he would be forever tormented by the souls of his victims. Or at least, that was the plan. You see, when Fazbear Entertainment handed over circuit boards used in animatronics William Afton had previously haunted, such as Springtrap, his remnant was able to attach to the game code and open a portal of sorts. Through this portal, Afton escaped his private hell and entered a third host, taking on the form of twitchy, unintended game character, Glitchtrap. This malicious entity began latching on to all areas of Help Wanted's game files, infecting them and taking control like a highly advanced computer malware. This game has some kind of malicious code in it that we haven't been able to fully contain or even understand for that matter. It was just junk. Circuit boards and things like that. Look pretty old. Somehow though, there was usable code on some of it. It seemed to take hold by itself. Things started changing. But then, he started appearing. The voice of the beta tester on these tapes tried to warn her successor of Glitchtrap and how to wipe him from the game files before he managed to corrupt the minds of any more players. Enter Vanessa, a new employee at Fazbear Entertainment who landed a job as a beta tester for Help Wanted. With the release of Security Breach, we finally have enough evidence to conclude that we are in fact playing as Vanessa during the events of Help Wanted. 
The game revealing how, by following the guidance of Tape Girl, Vanessa attempted to isolate and destroy Glitch Trap, but ultimately failed and fell under his control. Hello. You don't know me. I had created a series of logs for you documenting the troubled development of this VR game that you're now testing. Now I fear that those logs are being used as a Trojan horse. There is a way to kill it. It wants to escape. To escape through someone. Someone plugged into this game. Following Tape Girl's guidance, Vanessa attempted to destroy Glitch Trap, but her mind was not strong enough to keep Afton's ghost in the machine at bay, and so Glitch Trap ended up imprisoning Vanessa within the game files. However, this was not a physical prison, but rather a prison of the mind. This is reflected in 8-bit minigame Princess Quest, which reveals how the longer Vanessa spent in this digital prison, the more influence Glitch Trap gained over her mind. This is represented in various events, such as when she collected up the Vanny Mask, symbolising her complete subservience to her new master, a conversation we can hear upon wearing the mask during DLC Curse of Dreadbear. Yes, I hear you. I know. No. There's no miscommunication. I understand. Yes, I have it. I made it myself. I think you would like it. No, no one suspects anything. Don't worry. I'll be ready. And I won't let you down. It will be fun. Vanessa also transferred Glitch Trap inside a plushie, and again, this is experienced during the Princess Quest minigame. This symbolizes Vanessa transferring Glitch Trap into Fazbear Entertainment security systems, allowing him to finally escape his prison within the help wanted game files. After Glitchtrap took control of Vanessa, her mind was split into two separate states. One her regular human state as Vanessa, and the other a Glitchtrap controlled alter known as Vanny. These two states are separated during the story of FNAF Security Breach, with Vanessa appearing as a security guard and Vanny as a sadistic dancing rabbit. You're in big trouble. This is not the night to be wasting my time. So. You are going to wait right there in Lost and Found until your parents or the police arrive. Are you having fun yet? But how did Vanessa and her glitch trap alter infiltrate the Pizzaplex and set the events of Security Breach in motion? What happened between this current timeline and the story told in FNAF Help Wanted several years ago? Well, there are a handful of resources available to aid us in our investigation. These come in the form of emails from augmented reality title FNAF Special Delivery, and audio logs discoverable during our Security Breach playthrough. And these audio logs come in the form of CDs, which archive conversations recorded between Vanessa, her alter Vanny, and a number of different therapists working on behalf of Fazbear Entertainment. After falling under Glitchtrap's influence, Vanessa finished up her work as a beta tester for Help Wanted and moved onto the Special Delivery Initiative, this allowing players to send out animatronics to each other's homes in the form of a mobile AR experience. Emails found within this game chart conversations Vanessa had with a man named Lewis. These conversations reveal some peculiarities in Vanessa's internet history. She researched various torture techniques, and ordered rabbit costumes and rubber masks. She seemed at times zoned out and fixated on her computer screen, researching compliance in human subjects. Vanessa also scanned in the circuit board containing the Glitchtrap virus and spread it to Fazbear security systems, as noted in this email on screen now. This data is corroborated by conversations held between Vanessa and her therapist. What issue? I've been doing my job. I come in and sit at my desk and do my work. Yes, yes, of course you do. Your performance reviews are good. 
But a routine check of your online history has revealed that you've spent quite a bit of time with someone in an encrypted conversation. Sometimes I talk with Lewis. He's in the marketing department. He's nice, I guess. Yes, I see Lewis here. But there's someone else. Fazbear Entertainment mandated Vanessa seek therapy due to her behaviour in the workplace, and so Glitchtrap did everything he could to ensure she would never be cured. If the therapy worked and shook Vanessa loose of his mind control, then William Afton would remain forever trapped inside his digital prison. So Afton influenced Vanessa to lie about having an abusive childhood, where father Bill made her lie about her mother in a custody battle. Vanessa said this led to something very bad happening to her mother, and left her traumatised for life. I feel like I know your dad too. Bill, right? Your dad's name was Bill? Your dad made you follow instructions, didn't he? I try to do what I'm supposed to do. I'm talking about the custody battle between your mum and your dad. Your dad didn't play fair, did he? He used to make your mum look bad in court. He manipulated you. It wasn't your fault. I know your mum... after she lost the custody case. I was supposed to be a good girl. Now what's interesting about this fake story is that it all ties into William Afton's own dark family history. The father in the story is called Bill, and Bill is short for William. Bill's wife ends up doing something terrible to herself after Bill manipulated his children to lie about her in court. We know something happened to William Afton's wife, causing her to leave him a single parent, as hinted at by the cryptic TV show we watch, In Between Nights in FNAF Sister Location. Vlad, you suck. Wait, was that a vampire joke? That was so lame, Clara, like I haven't heard that a million times. Okay, well how's this? I'm taking the car. The joke's on you, it's a rental. Well, the joke's on you. I set the thermostat to 90 before I left. Good, I like it warm. Good, because I also set the house on fire. Oh, the humanity. When will the heartbreak end? We even listen to Vanessa's recordings within a room themed around the one found in sister location. Coincidence? I think not. So the story Afton fabricated in Vanessa's mind and then had Vanny relate to the therapist is in part the story of William's own family life. But in Vanessa's therapy, it is used as a fabrication to throw the therapist off Glitchtrap scent and explain why Vanessa is acting so strangely in the workplace. In reality, after doing a little digging, one of her doctors discovers the truth. Want to guess what I found out when I looked into the tragedy of your past? All that stuff about your parents? None of what you said in your file about your parents was true. The truth is, you had great parents. A great childhood. Why did you lie? When all else failed and Vanessa's therapist started making progress or poking around into her communication with Glitchtrap via encrypted emails, more drastic action was taken. Vanessa's therapist started going missing, and even ended up dead. Apparently, I'm the fourth therapist you've had. And apparently, all three of your former therapists have gone missing. I don't want to scare you, but I have to tell you that one of them was found dead. That doesn't seem to upset you. Well, then I guess I'll go ahead and tell you that the woman's body was pretty messed up. It looked like it was mangled by machinery. With the cause of their death machine related, it seems Vanny used the special delivery service to send out killer animatronics infected by the Glitchtrap virus to the homes of Vanessa's therapists, removing them as a threat once and for all. Glitchtrap has been using Vanessa to infiltrate Fazbear Entertainment software systems and communicating with her via encrypted emails only she could understand. But to what end? Well, this is where we catch up to present day and the events of FNAF Security Breach. In Vanessa's audio logs, we hear her therapists make mention of how she moved to a new location. I understand you'll be transferring to a different location soon. I'll be sorry to see you go. I think we've been making progress, don't you? I'm needed somewhere else now. Thank you. 
This location was the newly built Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex, an establishment built over Afton's final resting place, the pizzeria he burned inside all those years ago. This made the Megaplex an ideal location for the third phase of Afton's diabolical plan, to transfer him from a trapped soul in Fazbear Systems to a physical entity within an animatronic host once more. In order to achieve this, Glitchtrap used Vanny to hack the Pizzaplex security protocols and infect everything, including the Glamrock animatronics with his malware code. Do you know a place called Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex? Well, the techs are convinced that you've hacked into their system many times. Although, I'll admit I don't see any proof here. But apparently, the hacks are causing all kinds of problems. The techs have been struggling to fix some serious glitches with the robots. I'm not sure what exactly is wrong, except that it's making the robots more eerie than entertaining. Apparently, the glitch extended beyond the robots. It went system-wide. It began infecting all the machines, and when the techs traced the glitch back to its origin, it led them to you. Vanny achieved these hacks on her employer's systems by setting up secret rooms around the Pizzaplex where she could work out of sight of a watchful eye of the technicians monitoring the security breach. She also used a scrambling signal within her mask to prevent animatronics from seeing her, allowing Vanny to operate in relative safety at all times. Vanny then took control of Glamrock Freddy to forge a path through the ruins of the burned pizzeria, where using Afton's engineering knowledge, she was able to reassemble Springtrap and begin the resurrection process. I know what this is. I have been here before. She brought me here. I found myself for the first time when I cleared the path. I did not want to. But I had no choice. There were also reports of children going missing, and it is logical to conclude Vanny was the culprit behind these kidnappings, using remnant extracted from these missing children to assist in the return of William Afton's soul to the physical world and help him gain immortality. This has always been the mad scientist's endgame. Everything was going smoothly for Afton until a proverbial wrench was thrown in the works in the form of a lost child Gregory. In order to continue maintaining control over Vanessa, Princess Quest arcade machines were created. No one knew where these games had come from or why, and despite being unplugged, they never powered down. It was as if they were haunted by a paranormal entity, and of course, this was indeed the case. However, Gregory discovers that by playing through each game in sequence, he is able to retrace Vanessa's digital footprint and navigate through the events of Help Wanted that led to her imprisonment and subsequent servitude to Glitchtrap. This leads to the final arcade cabinet hidden within one of Vanny's secret rooms. And within this game, Gregory is able to locate the door Glitchtrap locked the unfortunate beta tester behind and finally unlock it this resulting in the freeing of Vanessa's mind and her separation from the Afton-controlled altar Vanny. With Vanessa now free, she is able to return to normality, and with Freddy's help, Gregory defeats Afton before he can properly return from the grave and he is once again consumed by the ghosts of his prior victims. Vanny disappears with him and Vanessa is free, seemingly befriending Gregory and the two living happily ever after. And with that, we come to the end of this investigation into the origins of Vanessa and Vanny. I hope this video made these characters and their story a little easier to understand, and that you found this video both entertaining and informative. If you did, then remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more horror-related content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.